हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन टाइल्स कम बैक ऑन कोड फोर्सेज सो द क्वेश्चन स्टेट दैट ब्लैड रिमेंबर दैट ही एड अ सीरीज ऑफ एन टाइल्स एंड अ नंबर के द टाइल्स वर नंबर फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड द आई एथ टाइल हैज अ कलर सी आई इफ यू स्टैंड ऑन फर्स्ट टाइल एंड स्टार्ट जम्पिंग एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइल्स राइट यू गेट अ पाथ ऑफ लेंथ पी द लेंथ ऑफ पाथ इज द नंबर ऑफ टाइल्स यू स्टूड ऑन Vlad wants to see if it is possible to get a path of length p such that it ends at tile with index n. P is divisible by k. The path is divided into blocks of exactly k each, and tiles in each block have the same color. The colors in adjacent blocks are not necessarily different. So. For example, we have n equal to fourteen and k equal to three here. So colors are one, two, one, one, seven, and so on. So we can construct a path of length six, where we can have two blocks. The first block is having the ones, which is c one, c three, c four, and the next block is which is having fours. So here. we are ending at index n which is the last index and also we have a path of length 6 which is divisible by k which is 3 so now let's look at examples so we need to return yes if we can get the path that satisfy the above conditions otherwise we can return no in this case so looking at the solution here first what we have is we have these colors like in the first test case we have all the colors as one so we have n as 4 and k as 2 so we need length equal to 2 and the last index is so what we can do is we can directly jump from the first to the last so our length would be 2 as it would be c1 2 c4 and hence we return yes in this case now for the third test case if you see we need to have index ending at n which is 3 and we need to have three elements so if we need to have three elements like the length should be divisible by 3 then what is the case so we can't have length equal to 3 as we can jump from 3 to 3 here so we return no in this case so let's see the approach of this and see through the code how to solve this question so first of all what we need to do is let's compare the first element let's take a bigger array to understand better let's take this array so first we take the first element which is 1 in this case so we take 1 and count how many ones are there means how many elements are there which have value equal to the first index of the array so 1 2 3 we have three elements more matching with 1 and also we have one itself here so the total count is four in this case so we are just creating a block of colors by this 
first element of the array so first block we have four elements now what we check is we have now k equal to 3 so we need to check if it has length of k or not if it has length of k then we will simply return yes otherwise we will move to the else condition now if the length is not equal to k then we check if the length is less than k that is also not the case here so we check next that if now if the length is greater than k so we will while counting the number of ones we will store the index of the last one so what is the index of last one here it would be 9 in this case now we check that the first element is equal to the last element of not if it is then we are done with it because we have a count of ones greater than or equal to k and also we have last element as one if we have last element as one then we can directly ju jump to the last element by jumping to the number of ones here in between so in that case also we would return yes but here all these cases are not there so what we check now is we go from the last index to the index stored which is 9 so we now check this list and in this list we check if our this element is equal to other elements or not so when we check this we get the count as 3 for it and now once we get the count 3 for it we can simply check the total count total count which we wanted is 3 and we are also getting 3 here so we check if it is greater than or equal to k we simply return yes in this case otherwise no now let's run through one of this example so let's take this example now this is the example which we are having so first we count number of ones which are one two three four five they are five which is greater than k now it is not less than k not equal to k so we check is our last element also one no it is also not one so the index of one is stored there are 10 numbers so index of one here will be nine now you go from 10 to 9 and see so the number of twos are only one which is less than four so we return no in this case so i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching